Yella, Central World, Bangkok. Hello, my favorite fishies. Starting a vlog with you. Well, hello, people. Welcome to my vlog. I've decided today I'm feeling a bit better, so actually a lot better. So I'm waiting for a taxi to go to Central World in Bangkok, the ninth largest mall complex in the world. Bangkok is known for its large, impressive malls. And here we are approaching it via taxi. Gaul, I'm getting out of breath listening to you read your script. You know it'd be minimal effort to edit your voiceovers. I'm happy to at least see her out and about though. Her content lately has reached an all-time low in terms of entertainment value and her streams are insufferable to sit through. I wasn't expecting much from the Thailand trip to begin with, but she managed to make it even more boring than her Q8 content. Oh my gosh, it's intimidating already. Uh, and this is just one corner. It looks super large and super packed. Yella. Now they do play copyrighted music throughout the mall, so I'll be doing voiceovers with my own light music. And uh, here is the first level I entered into. <laughs> when I got there, I pretty much was just stunned looking around like, okay, what angle do I tack? Like, where do I go? This little booth here of cute handmade crafted soaps. I love these soaps. They always, I always see these at malls in Bangkok. Our sick gawly out without a face mask touching and sniffing items with her snotty nose without purchasing them classic but uh yeah i was just like where do i where do i go there's food there's these food shaped soaps there's just so much going on and it's just like a stimulating over time every single sense when you walk in here it's huge you don't really know what to do so i'm just kind of like wandering around a bit just you know having a look and admiring all the different smells from all the different food booths, which I will get some food later. But yeah, I, I really just, for this first clip, I had no idea what to do. I'm just looking around, and a lot of it was just looking around and kind of window shopping and stuff like that. Coconut booth caught my eye. Love fresh coconut water, juice, whatever you call it. And uh, they had some durian on this floor. Basically just a lot of food um there's a few floors in this mall from what i understood that were um t with just contained tons of food tons and tons of food we all understand why she's there she felt forced to go out and do something and figured she could stuff her face and call it content at least try something new and authentic this time venture away from the durian and the pad thai so you have like a market here, looks like with fresh durian, fresh fruit. I love the decorations, the lights, the lanterns. Gave it a really cool feel. Just a lot of food booths, basically. I was actually on a mission on this trip. I really wanted to get a good charger at a proper Samsung store because I use Android. I don't know for how long, but that's here nor there. So much for your husband bringing it up. And I wanted to hit a clinic booth. This is the one of the hugest malls, right? So easy to get lost. I had no idea where any of these stores were, so it was an adventure for sure. I tell her these malls have maps of their layout scattered everywhere, but she's been rotting in bed for a week now. Some walking would do her good. Come to think of it, it's impressive that she doesn't get blood clots more often. There are seven floors to the main central world building, as you can see kind of dizzying. Look at this toast. This is my expression and my mood right now during that time of the filming anyway. I love the stationary things. I always love having like little calendars and agendas. Since when? You never ever use them. Trying too hard to be a golly pop amber. And I just love all these little cutesy little stickers and things that they were selling. Seemed like some kind of like book or agenda store, something like that. The cat company thought was really cute little stickers for your agenda always nice to do if you're like into journaling and stuff like that yeah let's walk out into the middle of the mall part here again very busy people riding suitcases i doubt the weight limit is like 160 plus kgs or whatever i weigh right now i don't know but maybe i can make a plus size 
um, moving suitcase. That would be an idea. Gall the frame alone would exceed the baggage weight limit. Great idea. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, as you can see, the mall is very, very large. I don't know, I'd say quite on par with the Middle East malls, but they're a bit different. But they are both very large and impressive. All right, after quite a bit of walking, I finally found the Samsung store. Found a really good 45 watt charger, so I am super happy with that. And Salah, my dear husband, I know you would love this super dry store. Why not buy him something from there? Or at least enter and show us. Oh right, they don't sell food so you couldn't be bothered. Three weeks alone in Thailand without her husband and she hasn't even thought of bringing him something. So I hadn't had anything for breakfast, so I decided to get some lunch. And I started off with a lemon iced tea, which was super refreshing. And then guess what I had? You'll never guess. By the way, the restaurant is like really, really aesthetically pleasing. Very, very nicely decorated. And yeah, boom, pad thai with shrimp. Oh, for f**k's sake. Um, I've almost eaten pad thai with shrimp almost every single day since being in Thailand. But I mean, it's Thailand. Get it in now while you can, you know? And on the other side of the restaurant, there's like this little area you can walk around. A big panda. Excuse me? Did she just call the bear a panda? But yeah, overall lunch was 10 out of 10. And speaking of food in Central World, there is so much food. They have, like I said, dedicated floors to food, and including the top floor. I came across a bookstore, Asia Books, and I haven't been in a bookstore in years. And I just forgot how much I love like the novelty aspect of bookstores. They have all kinds of like cute stationery as well. And my 12 year old self would have loved these stickers. Look at these. I used to love collecting stickers, including these pip stickers. I would have loved them. Wee oui, wee, oui, the baguettes. <laughs> so I just had to browse around at all the cute stuff, but I didn't end up buying a book. Then I came across this other huge, huge food court. Like, look at this cute little durian stuffy. But yeah, it was this huge, huge food court that was just so crowded and packed, and so I dipped. All right, time to get movie tickets. My movie was at seven. I was seeing Alien Romulus. This is a bed. They have theater beds in theaters here, but not at this particular theater, but that might have been an example of one. I don't know. Anyway, off to uh, get some snacks. Yes, a drink and a popcorn. All right, and the movie theaters themselves are upstairs. So a couple of floors, I think. So it was kind of confusing. It's kind of like a little maze. The theaters are on like different floors. I was, according to my ticket, in Theater 8, and you just had to keep... It felt like forever just going up escalator after escalator after escalator to get to your particular theater. And here I was like, just kind of like confused, like, are the theaters on this floor? Like, am I going the right way? And then I realized I have to go up another escalator. So I was like, okay, the theater must be, you know, now on this floor, but no, three to nine, mine's an eight, so down another um, corridor, corridor here, as you can see, and I really want to see the movie Oddity, by the way. So I sat in a seating area, I had 20 minutes till my movie started, and I just got a Coke Zero here, I think this is advertising a Thai movie, and I got cheese popcorn, they have cheese popcorn. I've never been to a theater except for Bangkok that has cheese popcorn and it is delicious, let me tell you. And I arrive at a totally empty theater, for now anyway, and I paid a bit extra for a premium seat, just a bit more room, looks pretty nice, and of course it reclined, so very comfy. And after the movie, I rushed before Clinique closed. But I found it! I found it! I finally found it. It took a while, but I found it. And I'm here to try the skincare again. Um, I used to use it. 
So wish me luck. We'll see what I get. And the hall part will be back in the hotel. So let's head home. And on the way back, as you can see, of course, rain and lots of traffic. And of course, a ton of 7-Elevens. Honestly, overall, I was proud of myself for all the walking I did today. So yeah. All right, guys. So we're back here at the hotel. I stopped at the 7-Eleven to get some water, some more vitamin C drinks. Oh, and today, before I went to the mall, I got some chesty cough syrup from the 7-Eleven pharmacy. That's all, that, like, she looked confused when I asked her for, like, cough medicine. Like, she's like, I have, like, only a couple things, so. And, okay, so I picked up a few things at the mall. And, um, I don't know how I walked so much today, but I think it's because I didn't have a choice. I got lost all the time in that mall. Like, I even got lost going to the bathroom at the movies. It was like a big maze to get there. Like, I don't know. I'm not used to malls like that, man. I come from Cornwall. We have the Cornwall Square, which is so small, but I kind of miss just saying, I'm going to the mall and it was so easy. There's always parking. There, you're not bumping into anybody. It's a peaceful experience compared to big city malls. And Thailand has, I think Central World is the ninth biggest mall in the world. And of course me, being in not so good shape and just getting over being sick, wow, what a great idea. But I needed some things and I'm tired of telling myself no when it comes to moving. So here we go. I picked up finally, you don't know, this looks like just a basic item. 45 watt charger. Liquid facial soap. Yes, I have a few cl different cleansers that I use. What's the point in purchasing cleansers when you put on a full face of makeup just to go sleep? Makeup that's years old too. Then I have a clarifying lotion, alcohol free, more because it's more for sensitive skin. And this is like the toner that you would use. Um, so you use it twice a day, I guess. And they're dramatically different moisturizer that the one they're known for, that yellow one they've always had. <laughs> What I love about Clinique and I get most excited for is if you spend over a certain amount of money, they always have these cute sample packs they give you. Have a great skin day. Radical dark spot corrector. Okay, let's see. Dark spots? I don't know. I don't know. Like, what, what does that mean? Like, freckles? I don't know. Oh, a little booklet maybe that tells you about the products. Take the day off. Cleansing balm. Moisture surge overnight mask. A little mini liquid facial soap. So that's cool. This color of lipstick. <laughs> I don't know. It looks dark. <laughs> okay. Whoa. It's gorgeous. And it's moisturizing. Oh, I love that. I'm so tired, but that felt good, like getting all that exercise in that I have not been getting. Okay, I'm gonna go have a shower and uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.